So you low Earth orbit, you're constantly moving and you circle the globe every 90 minutes. So it's great for global coverage, but you're not observing the whole disk at once. So you need to put a lot of these satellites up to give the coverage. And that's, I think, where tomorrow.io is really making an impact because up till now, there had been a handful of microwave satellites operated by government agencies. And each agency would typically pick one or two orbits that would be their time of day if it's a polar orbit or maybe... If it's like the NASA GPM mission, they would be in an inclined orbit, so they could cover different times a day. But because of the cost of launching these big instruments had been so high historically, there were only a handful of them, and you only got these observations, if you were lucky, every few hours. And sometimes it could be you know, just one or two a day over developing storms. So Tomorrow.io recognized that the technology of miniaturizing a lot of the elements of spacecraft had been, had been lowered over the past decade. And a lot of technology demonstration missions by NASA had, had demonstrated that you could do microwave um, sensors on CubeSats. And the cost of launches just went down dramatically because now we have ride shares, we have reusable first stage rockets. And I mean, it's just a completely different paradigm than 10 or 15 years ago when a lot of these big missions that are currently in use were being formulated. 